Deadpool 3, or should I say Deadpool and Wolverine now has an official teaser trailer out on the internet thanks to the Super Bowl last night and there's a lot of buzz and hype surrounding this film and what it means for the MC going forward as like the main marketing scheme that Marvel Studios is using for this film is it's gonna change the history of the Marvel Cinematic Universe going forward and Marvel Studios isn't in the best place right now. The last theatrical release is their worst performing film ever. But could Deadpool 3 save this franchise? Let's talk about the trailer itself. It's fantastic. I mean, I know I have a knack of just overrating MCU trailers. I did the same with Black Widow, uh, uh, Quantumania, Thor 4. I, I did the same for all of those. But hear me out. This is a genuinely hilarious trailer that's worth the wait after months of uh, just us just looking at leaked set photos and all of that from the production of this film. It feels so good to have something official from Marvel Studios out on the internet for this film. It, just, it feels great. It seems like most of, if not all of the characters from the previous two Deadpool films are returning for this third film. So that's a massive W for fans of the previous two films like me. So that's awesome. I don't know how long they'll actually be in the film for because we don't really know that. But I'm just happy to see them at all because it was never confirmed that anyone would be returning other than, say, like, Dopinder. We got 30 seconds into the trailer when Wade made a fourth wall break about Disney being pegged, which is a genuinely hilarious joke and better than the entirety of Thor Love and Thunder. I'm sorry, I just love hating on that film because... It's wasted potential of the movie. The new suit looks great in action and we get a small cameo from Wolverine here. The film's literally titled, titled Deadpool and Wolverine, so I'd assume that he's in the film just as long as Wade Wilson. So, you know, you don't need to worry about him having a short runtime. It's just a teaser trailer. We're like, what, like five months or six months from the film's actual release date. I don't really know. I'm bad at math and I don't want to do it right now. But, you know, I don't really like the... This movie's gonna save the MCU, the MCU's in shambles, the MCU's back. I hate those conversations because we always have incredible releases from the studio, or at least good releases mixed in with the bad ones. I don't really like hating on the MCU, I don't really like, you know, overrating the MCU, I don't really like saying it's back or whatever. I just titled the video that because I had nothing else to title it, so that's primarily the reason why I named this video that. I'm loving the inclusion of the TV8 here, and at first I thought this movie would be a cameo fest. That was why I wasn't like overly excited about it, talking about it every single day. But there seems to be an emotionally captivating story in the depths of all this multiversal craze, so I'm much more excited now than nervous. So I'll be talking about this movie every day until July, what, 26 or something like that. I'm really excited for it. It looks great from this trailer, though it's just a trailer, and Thor Love and Thunder's first trailer was great, Quantumania's first trailer was great. I don't know what to expect fully, I'm just really excited for this film. I love this trailer, I'm just so happy that Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman are about to share the screen as their respective superheroes. July can't come fast enough.